Hello everyone, this is John from Vulgar Kitten Studios, and welcome back to episode 12 of our introduction to web development in PHP MVC programming thingy, uh, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we're we're going to be doing today is setting up a database and actually adding database support into our application. So the first thing that we need to do is actually create a database. So we'll go ahead and go on over to localhost and go into PHP my admin. And hopefully it'll load up fairly quickly. All right. And so we don't have any databases created yet. So we'll go ahead and just go over to our users and we'll add a new user. And we'll go ahead and add one called sexy. Make local host the host name. Password is going to be password. And we want to create a database with the same name and we want to ground privileges. So we'll go ahead and click go. And that should do it. All right, so we have a database now. We just need to make sure, that we just need to actually connect to it. So we'll open up our database service. And in here is where we're gonna go ahead and start using Laravel's Eloquent. And in order to use that, uh, we've already pulled it down with Composer. Now we need to use Illuminate. Illuminate database. And we want to get the capsule. And we need a manager. And we want to use the as capsule. So, And we're also going to want to use their migrations and everything. So we want to be able to access the schema. Uh, the schema. It used to be a facade. Uh, but I believe this is like built in now. So we're going to use illuminate events dispatcher and we use illuminate container container and we want to go ahead and extend capsule. And we'll go ahead and make a protected static capsule. And we'll use that in our initialization function and just add a connection. So we'll say self capsule capsule is equal to a new capsule and self capsule add connection and this accepts an array of parameters which are going to be what we stored in our config so we'll say driver and that is going to be equal to config get db driver and our host is going to be config get db host database itself is going to be config get db name and the username is going to be config get uh, db username same thing with the password uh, what is going on Password. And the char set is going to be config get db char set and the collation is going to be config get db collation and right here you could pass in your prefix here um, so I'm going to go ahead and pass in the prefix but we, we're not actually going to be using a prefix so this is just going to be an empty string uh, so db prefix so you may choose to exclude this from your application uh, whatever you want to do so we'll just go ahead and 
add everything in with those parameters. And from here, what we have to do is say self capsule set event dispatcher to a new dispatcher. And that is also using type hinting for a new container. And so that's how we're going to actually be able to access our um, our schema builder. And so we have to say self capsule uh, and use the set as global function. And then all we have to do is just boot eloquent. So we'll self capsule capsule boot hello point and so now that we have that we can actually test it out by going into our app we'll go into our app and we'll just call the service so we'll say uh, self service database initialize and hopefully that just won't give us any errors so we'll go over to our application and we do get an error so dispatcher not found class illuminate evanets <laughs> well I need to spell things correctly so that is going to be um, events dispatcher there and so we don't get any errors. So like uh, we can assume that that's actually working now. Uh, so to actually use that, um, what we're going to do, let me just go ahead and remove this. We're going to make a database command and just kind of mimic the artisan, uh, the artisan migrations. But we're going to make uh, just a more simplistic version of the migrations. I don't want to add on timestamps and stuff like that. Uh, you can if you want to, but I'm just not going to add in the logic for it. So I'm going to create a database folder and this is where we're going to hold our um, our migrations and we'll come into our database command line. And here what we're actually going to want to do is, well, first of all, we're going to want to use sexy app, but we're also going to want to use Illuminate database capsule manager as capsule. And uh, what we'll do is create a constructor. So we'll make a protected capsule and uh, should be a lowercase c. We'll make a public function construct and we'll use the magic method construct from PHP and we'll say app service database initialize. And that should be how we spelled it. Go ahead and come over here. Yep. All right, so we're good to go there. And I'm actually going to go ahead and change around the help a little bit. And while I'm thinking about it, um, we actually did change our route. Uh, we added the ability to use the ls command in there. So we should probably add the ls command to that as well. So what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and do that now since I'm already modifying the help. So, so echo uh, line break shell right and that'll be ls cyan and we'll turn on shell right uh, lists all routes registered in the application.
All right, so that's out of the way. And now we'll do the one for the database. So we're actually going to be, the command can probably do a lot more than what I'm gonna make it do. So I'm just gonna kind of uh, uh, set up a an extendable structure here. So I'm gonna say migrate and we'll make that a light gray. And see how that looks. Let's uh, go ahead and open up our terminal. And go on to the And we'll PHP lace database. And there it is. Okay. So that is acceptable. Um, but really, I should probably just put a, I'll put in a line break there too. So let's try that one more time. And I like that a little bit better. So uh, we'll go with it that way. And so we'll want a make and delete method, but we'll also want a up and down method as well. So I'll just go ahead and take this and change what we have to. And this will be up and up will uh, alone to push all migration blueprints to the database. Okay. I'll copy that down as well. We'll do down and run down along to and we'll just say pull pull all migration blueprints from the database like that. And that should suffice as an explanation. And really, I uh, probably compact this down a little bit, make the file a little shorter. And we we'll want to make sure that we uh, throw this all within our migrate function. So I'm going to change this to migrate. And just throw the help in there. And so the type is going to be either make, we'll need to make sure that we, in this case, we'll probably want to check to see if the type has been supplied. So to say if type then do this and we'll set type equal to null by default and within the make function uh, what we can do is we can set a template and that's going to be app service uh, view make and we'll get that from templates dot code migration migration empty and actually that would be from uh, database so we'll go into our views go to our templates and database we'll say new migration empty dot blade dot php and 
this is where we'll start using our schema builder. Uh, so we'll first of all echo out our PHP tag. So we'll say PHP like this. Just use the shorthand version of echo. And we'll have to namespace it. So namespace under sexy database. And we'll give it a comment section. So we'll put in a comment section here. And we'll say use illuminate database capsule manager as capsule and we'll class name the public function up and that is going to use capsule schema create and we will pass in the name and we'll also want to set up a closure which is going to accept the table and our table will get time stamps because we always want to put time stamps in any table that we create, generally speaking. And we'll also want a public function down to remove anything from the database. So we'll say capsule schema drop and the name. Like that. And so that will be our template. And we'll need to make sure that we pass in the name. So we will set up our array of data here to pass into the view. And that'll just get name, name. And so then we'll file, put contents, app database and then the name with dot php and the template and then we'll show right migration successfully created And that'll be green. So we'll also want a case for delete. And actually, I don't want to do all that. Uh, then we'll say if not name. So if we did not supply a name, then we will want to say shell. Right, or actually, as a matter of fact, we can just pull that from right here. We'll just use our help. And else. Mm-hmm. Else if not file exists app database name gotta make sure we concatenate that with dot php and we'll do it else here. But if not then we'll say show write uh, no migration. Actually, this needs to be double quotes. No migration by that name to be found. 
and we'll go down to the next line, make that red. And otherwise, we'll just unlink app database name dot php and shell write um, migration successfully completed. And we'll make that green. And so there's our make and delete. We also need our up and down. So we'll just go ahead and say case up. And I'll just write out both cases. So it's a case down for this as well. And all we pretty much have to do is just like call the schemas or use the schema function. So we'll say if case up, then we'll say if name, then we'll set our schema to be sexy database. name and schema is equal to new schema and then we'll say action is equal to schema up and then we'll just say shell write migration operation successfully completed and we'll make that green and of course that has to be double quotes I really need to get in the habit of doing that whenever I use this function because I need to make sure that I do my line break and then otherwise if the name has not been supplied, then we actually want to do the entire. We want to do every down migration. We want to pull ev or push everything up. So we'll say table schemas is equal to scan dir app database, and we want to put on the filling for slash there. Say for I is equal to two because of the um, the uh, the dot and the dot dot, and we'll say I is less than count of table schemas I plus plus, and the dot and the dot dot that I referred to is just what happens when scander. Uh, adds those two options in for you. So that's what I was actually referring to. And so then we can say schema is equal to path info. And we want to get path info for app database and concatenate on table schemas i. And we'll say table schemas i is equal to sexy database schema file name and we'll say table schemas i is equal to a new table schemas i and then all we have to do is just run the action so the action is equal to table schemas i up like that and then we'll show write migration operation success fully 
completed. And again, with the double quotes, which that is going to be green. And now what we need to do is the down. So we'll say if name else and we'll see if name. Yep. All right. So if the name has been supplied, then it's just as simple as creating a schema, which is going to be sexy database and the name and then the schema is equal to new schema and the action is equal to schema down and then we'll just want to say the same thing that the migration operation has been successfully completed. Which I'm going to do it like that. And otherwise, we are going to want to do that for everything. So again, it's table schemas, which is going to be scander app database. And then our for loop. So, yep. And I'll just use the snippet and for count is less or I is less than count table schemas. And we will say the schema is equal to path info app database table schemas i so we can get the file name and table schemas i is equal to sexy database schema file name and table schemas i is equal to a new table schemas i and then our action which is going to be table schemas i down and then we just tell the user what we did again. And so that is pretty much it. So let's go ahead and try it out. We'll go ahead and say PHP Lace database migrate make users. And we have an unexpected if on line 69. And that's because I did not add that in, so I I did that. So thank you very much for noticing. Um, let's see, nothing happened. So migrate make users, and a uh, silly mistake here. Um, I actually need to swap the position of type and name in order for this to work because the way that we want it to work is we want to call the type of migration uh, command that we want to run and then give it the name. So we'll say PHP lace database migrates make users. And so that should successfully create our migration and we have this user's migration here. So let's go ahead and try to run migrate up. So we'll say PHP lace database database migrate up. And let's 
let's see. That actually should have worked. I don't understand why it didn't. That's calling the help function. So uh, let's see. In the database command, migrate up if name. Otherwise, no name. So we'll say if not type, if no type is supplied instead of name. So that is my fault. And so now let's try migrate up. And it says that the migration operation is successfully completed. So let's go and verify that. We'll come into our database. And it looks like we actually have a user's table. So we know that we're connected to the database. And the structure, it should have our timestamps, which is created that and updated that. And so now we know that that actually works. So let's make another migration to make sure that everything works. So let's say PHP lace database migrate make. And we want to make a migration for roles. So we'll make a migration for that. And first of all, it's PHP, my PHP lace database migrate down and we have a fatal error here uh, database not found on line 128 so let's go ahead and go check it out okay so roles in the database there will migrate down users. Okay, so we had to pass that in because the file structure was different. So we dropped that, it should no longer exist. Refresh, and sure enough, there is no, there are no tables in that database. So now if we PHP lace database migrate up, well, we obviously need to migrate up, call it correctly, and we get two instances. So let's go ahead and see if that actually works. And we do have two, two different tables. And so if we migrate down, um, then we still have a problem. Okay. And I'm not really sure what's going on here, but I know that this, it works exactly the same way as our up. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab that from here and throw that down here, except I'm gonna make that down. And that should work. So PHP lace database migrate down. And so it says that the migration was successfully completed. So let's check out the database. And there are no tables in the database. And this is just a PHP my admin error. So like if we actually just reloaded PHP my admin altogether, uh, we can see that there's no tables in there. So uh, that pretty much does it. We've added database support and we have migrations. So we have version control for our database as well. Uh, so again, we got a lot accomplished in this video and I appreciate you watching and I'll see you in the next one.